Hey everyone, if you have an MIDI keyboard or if you're thinking about buying one, I'm going to show you exactly how to use it in GarageBand and how to edit the notes that you play. So right now I have my very own keyboard plugged into my laptop and uh, I'm not going to show you actually how to plug in plug it in because that is different for each keyboard and uh, there probably should be um, somewhere in the manual about how to connect it to a computer. So right now I have it connected and the first thing I'm going to do is while I'm inside GarageBand I'm going to head over to track new track and now we're going to create a software instrument and it'll tell you that you can use an MIDI keyboard just hit create and that is literally all that we have to do so if I jump over to my keyboard here if I hit a note it will play it on the computer now if we go down to here and click on this little note and change it to chord it will now display what note or chord we are actually playing so if I hit A it shows me that I'm playing the note A in the second octave I can also play a whole chord and it will show what chord I'm playing so now this works very very well with recording so if I click the record button I could just punch in a few chords and it will record all of that information for me. Stop that. And now we can play that back and hear exactly how it sounds. Now also, if we double click that, this will bring up Piano Roll. And this is exactly the notes that I just hit. So if you notice, this note right here is a little bit on the short side. So I can just extend that just a little bit to make it sound a little better. Now it does detect the velocity that you hit the notes. So you can see exactly which notes you hit the hardest. Now if you don't like that, you can even click on score and see the notes that you played except now in a music notation view. Now we can even do editing in here as well. So if I click on a note, I could just drag it to anywhere else. Okay, and uh, we could also just select it and change how long it lasts for. Now, while this doesn't provide all the features that an advanced notation software would offer, such as Finale, we can still do some pretty basic things. So if I want to insert a quarter note, I can just select it, hold down the command button, and just put it right in. Just like that. Now we can select multiple notes and change their pitch altogether. Just like that. Now it sounds totally different. So, there, of course, there's even more editing that you can do with this, but this is just pretty basic. And also, if we go over here to the right panel, and if you don't see this already, just click on the little eye in the bottom right-hand corner, you can change what instrument that you are playing. So right now, by default, Grand Piano is selected. We can also choose, let's go to Horns and choose the Trumpet section. Let this load, and then once it's loaded, if we play a note, it'll sound like it's coming from a trumpet section. And there's a whole bunch load of things that you can just play around with. Some things that are just really far out, or just normal instruments like this. One extra thing is that we can actually edit these instruments even further. So over on the right again, instead of the Browse tab, we're going to go to the Edit tab. And we could just change what effects that are on the instrument. And we could even add new ones. So I can add Bass Reduction. And then we could even edit this even more. And there's really so many different things that you can do with an MIDI keyboard. You just have to get in there and get your hands dirty. And you'll see really all the options that GarageBand has to offer in the field of MIDI. 
And that's pretty much all you have to know. So if you enjoyed this tutorial and you want to see many, many more, go to my website at knowyourmaptouch.com. Thanks a lot, everyone.